Hey, what is up people? This is Johnny and today we're going to be talking about 15 disturbing character origins from Disney characters. The first one we're going to start off with is the Little Mermaid. Now the original tale origin of this is by a Arthur named Hans Christian Andersen's original tale. The mermaid still makes a deal with the sea witch, except that instead of giving up her beautiful voice for legs, she has to cut out her tongue. And as you know, the mermaid did get the new legs. She still walks very painfully like she's walking on sharp knives. Now the plan is that she has to marry the prince in order to not go back into the sea and die and disintegrate into the sea foam. But as you can imagine, the prince actually decides to fall in love with another person. And this will lead to the mermaid's demise if she doesn't do something about it. The mermaid and sisters bring her a magical dagger to murder the prince. And if the mermaid does this, the blood drip on her feet, she can return into the sea. So if she kills him and the blood drips on her feet, she can return to the sea without having to marry the guy, the prince. But the mermaid cannot go with the plan. She has to use a dagger to end her own life. Her body then dissolves and she turned into a spirit for her selfish act. That is in a very, very happy ending. Number 2, Cinderella. Now, Disney does stay very true to the original story of Cinderella, but there is one dark secret that they do not mention in the Disney version of Cinderella. This is when the prince decides to go and find Cinderella, where they have to fit in the shoes. So while that happens, the stepsisters decide to actually cut off their toes in order to try and fit the shoe. But their plan obviously does not work very well. And Cinderella is the one that only, only fits the shoe. So this was pretty dark how they had to cut off their toes in order just to try to get with the prince. Number 3, Pocahontas. Now this story is really heartbreaking of Pocahontas. Pocahontas met John Smith when she was a child. It depicted that it was her love interest in the film. The historical accuracy of whether Pocahontas actually intervened in stopping the execution of Smith was actually disputed, so he may have actually really gotten executed. We do know that she was actually captured by the colonists, and she was possibly raped and converted to Christianity. And then she went off to marry an Englishman. Then she was brought to England as a symbol of a tame savage. On the way back to America, she actually died violently ill and died at the age of 22. So that's actually a pretty dark story of Pocahontas. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now the original story of the Brothers Grimm version where Snow White finally gets to give the evil queen what she deserves. Not knowing that Snow White has actually recovered from the poison apple, the queen attends the wedding of the young beautiful princess. And you can imagine her face when it turns out that Snow White as and her and the prince are getting married. She is probably very pissed. At this point, the punishment is given to the queen which is forced to wear a red hot shoes to dance until she dies. Number 5, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. The Victor Hugo's classic novel is not nearly the same as the Disney version. Esmeralda is framed for the attempted murder of Phobius and is sent to hang. Quasimato manages to save her life, but Frollo captures her again and manages to kill the young woman. Quasimato is heartbroken and stays with her dead body until he dies from starvation. Later, someone finds their skeleton side by side, crumbled to dust. Number 6, Aladdin. Now, Aladdin actually has an inspiration from the classic tales of Ali Baba and 1001 Arabian Nights. In Ali Baba, Kasim is portrayed as Aladdin's father in the film. Now, in the original tale, is actually he is dismembered. And when you want to go into specifics, they actually cut up the guy into little pieces. However, Ali Baba was sued back together by the tailor in order to make not any suspicion that he was actually killed that way. So nobody would ask any awkward question of how Kasim died. Number 7. Frozen is partially based off of the Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. And in the story, Snow Queen actually kidnaps the little boy and kisses him twice. And the kisses actually make the boy numb to cold that he forgot about his family. The little boy is rescued by his friend and so much time has passed since the two have grown into adults. Summer returns to the land and the two friends have learned an important lesson. Never talk to a stranger because there is danger. 
Number 8, Tangled. In the original Rapunzel, the prince is blinded by the dame Gothel and must wander into the woods alone. He hears Rapunzel's voice who has also given birth to twins since she lost saw the prince and is able to restore the prince's sights with her tears. Oh, see, sometimes suffering a horrible blinding accident can work out in the long run. So there must have been some hanky-panky going on when the two twins appeared, which is a little bit different and kind of disturbing from the original tale. Number 9, Hercules. Now, Hercules is based off a of classic Greek mythology, which is full of rape, murder, and infidelity. Hercules is no different. It actually has a really disturbing story of his origins. He is made by his stepmother to murder his own ch children, Hera. And that's actually pretty messed up if you look at it into a perspective. And there's also different stories where a poison has to... Uh, that takes uh, Hercules and forces him to cut off his own skin and then light himself on a funeral prey. He doesn't die though, instead he ascends to Olympus and becomes immortal. Number 10, The Fox and the Hound. Now the classic is always a traumatizing story, but somehow the original story is actually a little bit worse. When Cooper and Todd grow up, they aren't friends anymore. Instead, Cooper hunts Todd so aggressively that Todd drops dead of exhaustion. Cooper's owner grows old and before moving into a nursing home, shoots him dead. That's just pretty messed up of the original story and it's pretty really messed up. Number 11, The Beauty and the Beast. In the original story, the Beast actually treats Bella very well. He even grants her permission to return home to visit her family. And Bella's sisters, well, they're actually pretty jealous of Bella because the gifts that she has received from the Beast. And they beg her to stay another day, so hoping that they will eat, that the Beast will eat her for returning too late. Talk about sister rivalry. Number 12, Pinocchio. Pinocchio was a real troublemaker. He originally suffocated a death by a mutilated cat. It's a very complicated story. Pinocchio gets a chance to redeem himself when a fairy rescues him. However, he is turned into a donkey and drowned by his new owner. While drowning his body, it is eaten by a fish, leaving his wooden puppet skeleton. And he is swallowed by a well where he sees Geppetto. The two make it out of life, and Pinocchio takes care of his father. As a reward, he finally gets to be turned into a real boy. So that's pretty messed up how many times Pinocchio had to redeem himself and also had to die in order to get a real boy and become a real boy again. Number 13, Bambi. Now, the movie Bambi was already a pretty traumatic movie where the scene the hunter decides to shoot the mother deer. It kills every sense of a child's innocence. Well, the original story even manages to become a little bit more depressing. Bambi grows up and becomes a bit of a loner and goes on a spiritual and extensional journey to learn about the circle of life. That is pretty odd because he's learning about death and how life is come to be and how death and how the world can no one ever overcome death. Number 14, the sword in the stone. So Arthur became a king when he actually pulled the sword from the stone and he was a glorious king. But at some point his wife actually decided to cheat on him with his best friend. And then later on Arthur dies in some battlefield. Now it isn't all too bad because in the life of medieval times it would be worse to actually die off of the plague. Number 15, Sleeping Beauty. This is actually pretty messed up at so many levels that Sleeping Beauty is actually raped by a king and gives birth to the twins while still in the comatose. When she comes to, she is shocked to find out she has children and the king returns and tells her what has happened. It must have been a pretty convincing explanation because Sleeping Beauty doesn't seem phased by the situation. However, the king's wife isn't nearly as accepting and tries to kill the twins and feed them to her husband. Long story short, the king executes his wife and lives happily ever after with the Sleeping Beauty. Yet, that is a really, really odd story. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in your comment section which is your favorite disturbing fitting uh, Disney character origins. Um, also let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. It's something new that I'm trying out on my channel. 
and it's quite a little bit different which i want to go and expand my content into other stories and characters instead of just pokemon but i will continue doing pokemon theories and all that type of stuff but i just wanted to experiment with this video if you guys actually enjoyed it let me know in the comments section if you haven't checked out some of my previous videos make sure to click on those two boxes in the middle so you can go ahead and check them out and have a wonderful day